All right, we are live for our second episode of Jeopardy. Today, we have two new contestants and Sam, who was our winner last week. Uh, so Sam is our wind energy analyst from New Hampshire. We now have Zach, who is a consulting analyst from Chicago. And we have Alina, who is a commercial property underwriter from Long Island. So both of them are looking to take down Sam, but Sam is hoping to keep her wins going and she her one day total is twenty thousand dollars so the only person to finish with money in round one okay uh so sam since you're a winner you get to choose the first question okay oh wait uh, let me go through the categories first sorry oh yeah, yeah uh our categories on our round one today are u.s presidents just desserts color wheel nintendo and rhetorical devices Okay, Sam. Just desserts for 400, please. In the TV show Friends, Rachel makes this multi-layered dessert for Thanksgiving that often includes fruit, sponge cake, and custard. Anyone? All right, the answer to that is, what is a trifle? Oh. All right, Sam, you go again. Just desserts 200. Okay. America's favorite cookie refers to this cookie. Alina? What is Oreo? Yes, that's correct. All right, Alina, you pick. Um, just dessert 600. It's often believed this cream-filled dessert could last through an apocalypse, as seen in the movie Zombieland, though in actuality, their shelf life is only 25 days. Zach? Uh, what is a Twinkie? Yes, that's correct. All right, Zach, you pick. Um, I'll do U.S. presidents for 200. Perfect. And make sure to put your hand in. Yeah. Although he was the only president who also served as a Supreme Court justice, he is most famously remembered for supposedly getting stuck in a bathtub. Zach? Who is Grover Cleveland? Uh, no, that's incorrect. Oh, no. Sure. <laughs> uh, I think Sam had it up second. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Okay, uh, Sam. Who, who is Taft? Yes. It was William Howard Taft. All right, Sam. U.S. presidents for 400. Yes. He was the only president to serve two non-consecutive terms in office. Zach? Who was Grover Cleveland? <laughs> yes, that's correct. Yeah. All right, uh, Zach. You pick. Yeah, let's, let's keep it going for 600. All right. Theodore Roosevelt was the leader of this, the first U.S. volunteer cavalry, fighting in Cuba during the Spanish-American War. Zach? Um, who are, oh shoot, never mind, I completely forgot. <laughs> uh, who are the Rough Riders? Yes, correct. <laughs> We're the Rough Riders. Okay, back to uh, you. We'll do for 800. All right. He was the first U.S. president affiliated with the Whig Party. Zach? Who was William Henry Harrison? Yes, that's correct. Okay. All right, Zach, back to you. And yeah, let's do it for a thousand. All right. Presidents Dwight D. Eisenhower and Lyndon B. Johnson were the only two presidents born in this southern state. No one? All right, the answer is, what is Texas? All right, Zach, you still get to choose. Uh, let's do rhetorical devices for 200. Okay. A nicer way of saying something. For example, he passed away. All right, the correct answer was, what is a euphemism? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do, let's do it for 400. Perfect. An over-exaggeration. For example, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Alina? What is a hyperbole? Yes, that's correct. All right. Uh, rhetorical, rhetorical device 600. Okay. Words that imitate the sound that they try to describe. For example, bang. Zach? Uh, what is automatopoeia? Yes, that's correct. Um, do for 800. And that's our daily double. Ooh. All right, so you get to wager up to $2,800, but at least $5. <laughs> um, I'll wager 800. 800? Okay, I'm just writing it down on the calculator. Here's your question. 
And this is only for Zach. I'll leave it right. Aside. A brief reference to a person, place, event, or passage in a work of literature assumed to be sufficiently well-known to be recognized by the reader. For example, you don't have to be Sherlock Holmes to know that. Um, what is an illusion? That's correct. Yes. All right, so we will add 800 to your score. 3,600. All right, you pick. Uh, we'll do rhetorical devices for 1,000. The repetition of the sound of a vowel. For example, he seems to beam. Zach? Uh, what is assonance? That's correct. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. You pick again. Um, Nintendo for 200. Nintendo's best selling game franchise stars this Italian plumber. Sam? Who, are, who is Super Mario Brothers? Uh, we'll give that to you. It was just. Oh, oh, sorry. But yes. All right, Sam, you pick. Um, color wheel for 200. All right. This color makes the first move in a game of chess. Zach? What is black? No. That's incorrect. <laughs> Alina? What is white? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what is white? Okay, Alina, you pick. Just desserts, 800. All right. This word in French can either mean a shop where pastries are sold or French pastries and cakes collectively. Zach? Um, what is a patisserie? Patisserie? How do you, it I don't is know. A, <laughs> it's a patisserie, yeah. Patisserie, yeah. Okay. Is that it? Okay, Zach, you pick. Uh, I'll go Nintendo for four. Okay. Nintendo released this, their lowest selling home gaming console in 2012. I think that was Alina? What is the Wii U? Yes, that's correct. All right, Alina, you pick. Uh, Nintendo 600. In 1989, Nintendo released this game console in the US and sold 1 million units within just a few weeks. Oh, God. Uh, that happened so close. Sam, did you see anything? I wasn't looking, no. OK. I think since it happened at the exact same time, we'll give it to who asked the question. So Alina. I'm gonna guess, okay, what is the N64? No, that's incorrect. Zach? Uh, what is the NES? NES? Yeah. No. The DS NES? <laughs> I don't know what that NES is, but no. It's, oh, it's sorry, okay. Sam. Oh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay. What is the Game Boy? Sam, oh. Scout's Honor, were you about to say Game Boy? I would have said Game Boy Advance. Okay, well, that wouldn't count. So, yeah. Alina, back to <laughs> you. Okay, uh, just desserts a thousand. Okay. The process of heating and cooling chocolate at a certain temperature to stabilize it, give it a smooth and glossy finish, and to make it less likely to melt in your fingers is called what? Sam? What is tempering? That's correct. Chocolate. All right, Sam, you pick. Uh, color wheel for 800. NBC's Nordy was among the first TV series to ever be filmed fully in color in this decade. No one? All right. The correct answer was, what are the 1950s? Sam again? Uh, color wheel 600. This term refers to colors on opposite sides of the color wheel that, when combined, produce a grayscale color like black or white. They're often used for brand color schemes, such as orange and blue for the New York Knicks. Sam? Uh, what are complementary colors? That's correct. All right. Uh, color wheel 400. Cameron Gibral Tomas, all right, uh, better known by the stage name Wiz Khalifa, is an American rapper based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, that came out with this song in 2010, comprised of two colors. Zach? Uh, what is black and yellow? Yes. All right. Where to next? Uh, let's do Color Wheel for a thousand. Okay. This musical, set in biblical times, features the titular character being sold into slavery by his 11 jealous brothers after his father, father gives him a colorful gift to wear. Oh, sorry. Uh, Zach? Uh, what is Joseph in the Technicolor dream coat? I'm missing one word from there. Uh... 
um, fortunately, sure. <laughs> title. Alina? I was going to say the exact same thing. <laughs> oh, God. I'm sorry. You had your hand raised. Uh, the correct answer is Joseph and the Amazing Technical. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Yes. All right, Zach, back to you. Uh, we'll do Nintendo for a thousand. Okay. In 1953, Nintendo became the first company in Japan to produce playing cards from plastic. Shortly after, in 1959, Nintendo struck a deal to put this popular Western entertainment company's cartoon characters onto Nintendo playing cards. Zach? What is Disney? That's correct. Yeah. All right, and we'll finish up this board. As of September 30th, 2020, this Mario game was the top selling game for the Nintendo Switch. Sam, I see some surprise there. What are you going to go I thought with? I was going to say something about Animal Crossing. Um, <laughs> we'll go Mario Kart. What is Mario Which Kart? Which Mario Kart? What is Mario Kart 8? That's correct. All righty. So we come to the end of the first board, and the current <laughs> scores are Zach at 5,200. Sam at 2,800 and Alina at minus 400. minus 400, but there's still plenty of points to go. Uh, so plenty of time for anyone to take the lead. Uh, so before we start our second round, let's get to know the players a little bit more. All right, I will start with Zach since he's at the top of my screen. Um, so Zach, I hear that you made a recent purchase that turned out to be quite surprising. Uh, yeah. So I ordered a bean bag from Wayfair and it said it was a five foot bean bag. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's like slightly shorter than me. Like that's not that bad. Mm -hmm. It's really big. It's weighs 50 pounds and it's taking up like half of our living room right now. Wow. Uh, yeah. So do you think you're going to keep that? Um, based on the roommate's request, probably not. <laughs> I hope the roommate changes his mind. I hope so too. It's definitely that's worth keeping. Cool. All right. Uh, then next on to Sam. Uh, Sam, we hear that you love one type of breakfast in particular. Tell us about that. Or perhaps uh, yeah, uh, I'm a big fan of the continental breakfast that you get at hotels. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to eat at those continental breakfasts? You know, it's the fact that you, you don't have to choose. You know, you have a little waffle, a little cereal, a little gross egg. You know, you get it all. And you right, have coffee right. however you want. It's great. It's full variety. That's yeah. True. All right. And Alina, we hear that you've been playing classical piano since you were five years old. Yeah. So my oldest sister started teaching me from a young age. And then um, in high school and middle school, I had um, more formal lessons with a teacher. And now I just uh, play myself for fun. Wow. That's nice. Do you only play classical music? I prefer it. So most likely, yeah. Nice. All right, well, let us get started with round two, our double jeopardy round where all points are doubled. Uh, let me just put in the scores. Okay. All right, so our categories for double jeopardy today are ladies of the 80s, before mankind, flightless birds, Smell You Later, and also a Taylor Swift song title. In that category, every answer will be the name of a Taylor Swift song. Okay, uh, so Alina, since you're in last place right now, you get to pick first. Um, I'll do Smell You Later 800. Okay. Going by the number of scent receptors, this carnivorous animal has the best sense of smell of all terrestrial mammals. That should be a period. Make sure to lock up all of your food when camping. Alina? What is a bear? That's correct. Nice. Um, I will do, okay, smell you later, 1200. It means relating to the sense of smell. Alina? What is olfactory? Yes, that's correct. All right. um, smell you later, 1600. According to Refinery29, this floral scent is the most popular from Bath and Body Works. Sam? We're going to take a guess. What is Japanese cherry blossom? No, that's incorrect. Sorry. 
Anyone? Alina? What is sweet pea? No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. The correct answer is what is rose? That's <laughs> not even <laughs> Okay. Uh, Alina, you pick again. Okay, Smilator 2000. Okay. On September 21st, 2017, the famous YouTuber Jenna Marbles uploaded the video of My Dog Reviews Soap. This soap, branded with a four-leaf clover, was her dog Kermit's favorite. Zach? What is it, Irish Spring? That is correct. All right, you pick. Uh, let's do also a Taylor Swift song title for 400. This term refers to the period in 1848 to 1849 when many Americans went west to California in pursuit of riches. Zach? What is Gold Rush? That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, let's do it for 800. This Avengers movie featured half of our heroes trying to undo the damage Thanos had caused during Infinity War. Zach? Uh, what is Endgame? That's correct. Uh, let's do it for 1,200. A knitted sweater fastening down the front, typically with long sleeves. Zach? What is cardigan? Yes, that's correct. Uh, yeah, let's keep it going for 1600. Though she played a high schooler on the CW series Riverdale, Camila Mendez, who portrayed Veronica Lodge, was this old when the first episode aired. Zach? What is 15? That's incorrect. Oh. Sam? What is... 17? No, that's incorrect. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can't answer twice, unfortunately, Zach. Alina, do you want to take a guess? Oh, my hand's still up? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right, the correct answer is, what is 22? <laughs> um, yeah. Go back to you, though, Zach. Well, uh, let's do it for 2,000. Okay. A deity or object of worship that is regarded as either illegitimate or non-functioning in its professed authority or capability. All right, the correct answer was, what is false god? All right, Zach, you pick still. That's kind of creative. Uh, let's do flightless birds for 400. Okay. Weighing up to 100 pounds and measuring about four feet tall, this is the largest species of penguin that still exists today. Uh, Zach, were you raising your hand? Yeah, I was. I was Just making sure, because you took it off back. Somehow. Yeah. I, um, what is the emperor penguin? That's correct. Uh, let's do flightless birds for 800. The largest recorded bird egg, which weighed over five pounds and 11 ounces, was laid by this flightless bird. Sam? What is an ostrich? That's correct. All right, Sam, you pick. Uh, flightless birds for 12. This flightless bird with a long, thin beak is the national bird of New Zealand. Though it has the same name, don't confuse this bird with the Chinese fruit. Zach? Uh, what is a kiwi? Yes, that's correct. All right. uh, let's do it for 1600. This flightless bird is featured prominently in a series of Liberty Mutual commercials alongside the human dub. The two are referred to by Liberty Mutual as their dynamic duo. Alina? What is emu? That's correct. All right. Okay. Um, Smog you later, 400. In 1991, Nirvana released the popular song, Smells Like This. Zach? Oh, what is Teen Spirit? Yes, that's correct. And let's do Flightless Birds for 2000. Okay. This bird, native to New Zealand, is the world's only flightless parrot. All right, the correct answer is the cockapoo. <laughs> However, that's pronounced. Nice. Okay, uh, Zach, you pick again. Uh, we'll do Ladies of the 80s for 400. Okay. She served as the first lady of the United States from 1981 to 1989. Zach? Uh, who is Nancy Reagan? That's correct. Mm -hmm. uh, ladies of the 80s for uh, 800. In December 1984, Madonna touched number one for the very first time on the Billboard Hot 100 and stayed there for six weeks with this hit song. Zach? I'm going to take a stab. Is it like a virgin? What is like a virgin? That's correct. Nice. All right. 
Uh, let's do for 1,200. And that's a daily double. Yay. All right, so how much would you like to wager? Um, I'll do 4,000. 4,000, okay. Your question is, Shelley Long starred as Diane Chambers alongside Ted Danson on this NBC sitcom. Uh, what is Cheers? Is that your final answer? Was it Cheers? Yeah. Okay, that's correct. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right. 15, 12 is your score. Uh, back to you. Uh, ladies of the 80s are 1600. After this actress rose to prominence with her breakout role in the 1984 film, 16 Candles, she starred in the 1985 film, The Breakfast Club. Alina? Who is Molly Ringwald? Yes, that's correct. Um, ladies of the 80s, 2000. Martina Navratilova took home four U.S. championships between 1983 and 1987 in this sport. Anyone? Sam? What is tennis? That's correct. Fade out. <laughs> All right, Sam, you pick. Uh, before Mankind for 400. Okay. Also the name of a hit CBS sitcom, this is a theory in astronomy that the universe originated billions of years ago in a rapid expansion from a single point of nearly infinite energy density. Alina. What is the Big Bang Theory? That's correct. Okay, 800. And that's our last daily double of the day. Nice. So Alina, how much would you like to bet? Uh, I'll do a thousand. Okay. Back down. This was the most recent supercontinent to exist, though it started to break apart 175 million years ago. And uh, this is Alina's question. Oh, right. Wait, sure. um, okay. What is Pangea? That's correct. All right, so you're up to 4,600. Okay, 1,200. The Chicxulub crater, the site of the largest known asteroid impact on Earth, is located on this peninsula. Zach? What is Yucatan? That's correct. Uh, we'll do 1,600. This extinct species of shark, which lived approximately 23 to 3.6 million years ago, is the largest fish that ever lived, measuring up to 58.7 feet long. Zach? Uh, what is the Megalodon? That's correct. All right, and our final question. Although it has a leading role in Jurassic Park, the Tyrannosaurus Rex actually existed during this period. Zach? What is Cretaceous? Yes, that's correct. All righty. So going into the final Jeopardy, our scores are Zach at 20,000, Sam at 2,400, and Alina at 4,600. So let's find out what our final Je Jeopardy category is. It's the muckrakers. Woo! <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> the muckrakers from American history during the late 1800s and early 1900s. Oh, those muckrakers. <laughs> <laughs> They're the ones who exposed the corruption going on in America through journalism. Oh, very top so, of them. I'm going to ask you all, I'm going to add your scores right now to the bottom, but I want you to uh, text me individually how much you would like to wager before we show the question and your scores were 20,000, 2,600. All right. Those are up. And once we have all the wagers in, I'll go ahead and do that. Just waiting on one more. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Upton Sinclair's 1906 novel, The Jungle, served as an expose of the American meatpacking industry and the horrors endured by immigrant workers. After its release, public outrage resulted in the passage of this federal legislation, signed into law by President Theodore Roosevelt that same year. So I'm going to put 30 seconds on the clock and every one of you, I want you to individually text me your answer. Mm -hmm. I forgot to have the Jeopardy music up, but here we go. <laughs> seconds are up. So we're going to start with Sam because she was in last place. Uh, Sam said, what is the FDA? Unfortunately, that is not it. Um, and she wagered $2,400. So her score goes down to zero. Uh, next up, we had Alina who wagered $1,400. And she said, what is the Food and Drug Act? And that is correct. Yeah. So we are going to add to hers 1400. So she's up to 6000. So now it comes down to Zach and if he got that right. Zach answered what is the Food and Safety Act, which unfortunately is not correct. And he wagered 10,000. So although he got it wrong, he's down to 10,000. So he is still the winner of today's game. And Alina came in second with 6,000. Zach will be moving on to episode three. Unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Sam, but hopefully we'll see all of you again in future episodes because you were all very good contestants and knew your stuff. Thanks, Greg. <laughs> yes, all right. Well, thank you guys for playing. Zach, we'll see you again soon. And Sam, enjoy your continental breakfast and Alina, enjoy the piano. <laughs> All right, bye everybody. All right. Bye. Wait, let me just stop.